this video we will be discussing about static methods and static fields so let me name them in a comment static methods and static fields so what are those generally if you take any example like let me create one more class in this same package class or uh, let me take out student okay as student so here there are fields like int id string name and assume there is a method called public void show is the method which is displaying uh, the details of id id and Okay, these are the variables. So for for uh, getting the details into ID and name and displaying these details, what we have to do? We have to go to the main method class or any other class, and we need to create a object. So here I am going to create an object for the student class. Student k equals to new student. Okay, so the class name is what? The student is the class name. For that, what I have done, I have created an object. So normally, k dot k dot id some id number like one twenty three k dot name equals to some name like uh, I let me write down India. Okay, if I say like k dot show and see the result, we are getting the results. Okay, by using the display method. Here we have written. Uh, show method where we are displaying ID and name. So fine, we have an, a class where we are going to create normal variables. Now the topic is not about normal methods. The topic is about static methods. So here we are using the keyword static, and the name also for that I am using static, and the method also we can use the keyword static. So what is the difference here? The difference is for any static field or static method, we no need to create an object. So object creation is not necessary. So what is to be done here? Directly you can use the class name without creation of objects. Student dot id equals to one twenty three. Student dot name equals to same. I am writing India. And student dot show is the method I am calling, and see we are going to get the result. And this is we are going to write here. We are not create any object. You see, we are not writing the step lock like student um, student k equals to new student. This kind of steps we are not writing. Object creation step is not there, but still we are able to access. This is by using the class name dot. Field name, class name dot field name, class name dot method name. So this has happened only because you have these member variables. I mean to say fields ID and name with the keyword static, and the method show is also static. Assume that I am removing static here, and see immediately error is raised. So for static methods only, we no need to create the object. If it is not static, then definitely we need to create the object and access them. This is about the brief description about the static methods and static fields.